Welcome to Agriculture Academy, where we show you how to start a profitable business in agriculture. Remember to like and subscribe so that you never miss out on any of our new videos. The honeybee has recently been voted the most important living being on earth by the Earthwatch Institute. Few will agree with this more than avocado farmers, because their trees rely on pollination by honeybees so that the fruit can grow. Many flowering plants have evolved mechanisms to prevent self-pollination, which means that pollen must be transferred from the anthers of one flower to the stigma located on another. This promotes outcrossing and genetic variation. The mechanism to prevent self-pollination in avocados is called synchronous dichogamy. This describes the pattern of flowering on the trees. In all avocado trees, a flower will either be functionally female or male. In other words, an open flower will either have its female reproductive organs functional, or its male organs. In the female phase, the stigma is white and ready to receive pollen, and the anthers lie flat against the petals. The male phase on the other hand may have a brown-colored stigma, and the anthers are standing upright, making the male flowers appear much larger compared to the females. Every flower will open first in its female phase, close, then the same flower will reopen in the male phase. Therefore, the morphology of the avocado flower prevents self-pollination because a flower will never have all the reproductive parts functional at any given time. Avocado cultivars are classified according to which of the sexual phases is active in the morning or afternoon. A cultivars, like pass, have female flowers open during the morning. These flowers close and reopen again the following afternoon in their male phase. B cultivars, like Fuerte, have female flowers open in the afternoon, which close overnight and open the following morning in the male phase. But why is this knowledge important for commercial growers? Well, if a farmer only plants A or B flowering cultivars in their orchard, there will only be one phase of flower open at any time. So, there will either be no pollen available to fertilize the females, or no viable stigmas to receive pollen. Therefore it is common for farmers to plant a range of cultivars within their orchards to promote cross-pollination. Sometimes, fruit will develop if a flower is self-pollinated, but it is believed that fruit which has developed as a result of cross-pollination is stronger and will be better able to withstand stress and have a higher chance of reaching maturity. So if you want to boost your yields, remember the difference between A and B cultivars and make sure your orchard has a good mix of both. Thank you for watching our video. See you next time.